Hey everyone, I'm Asia Dang and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. I'm going to show you how I fit 14 outfits, so like two weeks of clothes in a oh, carry on, baby. Not only can you look bomb as F on your travel, but you don't have to check in a suitcase to do it. So let me show you kind of how I deal with packing two weeks worth of closing into a carry-on and show you how easy it is for you to do it yourself. Okay, first of all, let's talk about my Away suitcase. My favorite thing, it has a portable charger right on top of it, you see? So, I cannot tell you how many times this has saved my life. Also, this thing is sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. If I have to travel with my big camera that I'm shooting right now, um, my Canon 80D. I can put it in here and know that it won't break. You have this lock up here so no one can get into it, okay? Also, the cool thing is that I don't have to worry about whether this is going to actually fit into the overhead bins because this is all uh, US airline compliant. This, guys, is the larger carry-on. There is a smaller carry-on, but this is the larger one. You guys always ask me that question every time I feature that, so now you know. Also, as always, there is a 20% off or $20 off discount code for you to use if you want to get an Away travel case. Head over to awaytravel.com slash asiadang and then uh, you'll get $20 off your purchase, any purchase that you want. As you can see, it has two different compartments. I put my clothes on this side and then kind of like my bags and shoes and toiletries on this side. So a couple things that you need to consider in order to pack more concisely. Make sure that all your tops coordinate with all your bottoms. Your outerwear should match all the tops and bottoms. Layering is a great way to switch it up a little bit so you have more combinations at your disposal. Once you figure out your outfits, be sure to record them on your phone. So you see I just take pictures of it and now I have them in my arsenal and can refer to them um, on my trip in case I forget. In terms of bottoms, three to four options are best. I am just using three. Again, a skirt, some jeans, and slacks. Outer layer, I always have two. One I always pack with me and the other one I wear on the airplane to save some space. Shoes, some boots, these vans. And I also have my workout shoes that I'll be wearing on the airplane. For tops, I would say like four is a good option. A button down, like I said, always a necessity. A t-shirt, something fancier, and I brought a knit. Okay, now let's go to the fashion show. Here is my airplane outfit. I honestly don't know how people wear jeans on the airplane. It is beyond me. I am uh, in my eggy sweatpants that I wear all the time and this jacket I got for $10 and I love it. Always get compliments on it. So this is what I wear. Also wearing my A6 uh, Canon uh, shoes. They are so comfortable. About this outfit is that you can dress it up if you want but I think it actually looks pretty dope just with like sneakers and stuff. The backpack and the fanny pack can both work with any of these 14 outfit options. So just keep that in mind, even though I'm showcasing them only in particular outfits, you can definitely mix and match each one of them to any of the outfits you are seeing. Woo! I could either put on this jacket or I could put on my faux, what is this, echo jacket. Either of them work, so that's why it's important to bring jackets that match with all of your outfits. I was never really 
really one about like this cinched belt trend um, but I actually really dig it and you'll see this come into handy a little bit more uh, throughout this video and this is a medium size like to me it sometimes reads a little bit too trendy but if you keep it black with like a black shirt um, it doesn't look as obvious and I really like that also this shirt is a medium so if you want to try and cinch, cinch a t-shirt make sure it's a little bit on the baggier side <laughs> This is Brian's shirt. I actually really love an oversized button up because you can play around with it so many ways. Tuck it in, uh, tie it like I'm doing it right now, uh, cinch it like I'm going to show you in a little another outfit. Um, it's just really versatile. And um, this is Brian's as well, this Gucci fanny pack. So it goes to show just uh, find a significant other who dresses better than you do and just steal a lot of their clothes. <laughs> versatile all I did was unwrap it button it up up at the top and um, put a jacket on show a little stomach if you want to be adventurous but took me five second change and it's a totally different outfit dress up a regular t-shirt um, I just like cuffing up my sleeves Puts it together a little bit more and then just pair with some cool slacks, man. Super easy. Um, again with the oversized boyfriend button up. Um, this is why I like it. Like I said, it's super versatile. Cinched it at the waist. I left the cuffs longer uh, just to give it more of like a cool girl vibe. You saw a a uh, version of this outfit for my Bella Hadid look for less, so thank you for that inspiration. As a reminder, this actually is a dress, so when you want to wear a dress with pants, just remember to smooth it out so you don't have any bumps around your leg area. <laughs> dress in dress form. This is actually one of my favorite outfits right now. The only thing I've done different is I belted it, which you really don't have to. It looks cute either way. And then I added some um, thigh-high socks with my boots to kind of give it like a 60s retro vibe. Right along the lines of the other outfit, all I did was basically just button up my letterman jacket because uh, it's long enough to be a dress and I'm going to wear it as a dress. Super easy. Um, remember to wear the appropriate attire of undergarments just in case something happens, but um, I really like this outfit. I think it's really cute. I threw on my green skirt that you've seen, put on my fanny pack, and all I did was take off my uh, thigh-high socks from my boots. If you want, add a jacket to the mix, and now you have a completely different outfit. Alright, I decided to add this outfit to the mix because I feel like we always have the best intention to work out while we're out of town, but for me, honestly, it never really happens. But you can utilize this as an outfit because athleisure is super big. Um, this is basically my workout outfit, and the only thing I'm going to add is a leather jacket and get a backpack and some sunnies, and you are good to walk around the streets of whatever town you are in. We are bringing it back full circle. Both the dogs are back on the bed and we are in the sweatpants from the first outfit, my airplane outfit. Um, talk about comfort, honestly, this is probably what I will end up wearing 
throughout my stay in New York because you know me, I'm all about the sweatpants. So super comfortable, great to walk around in, adding the leather jacket again, and that's it guys. I hope you all enjoyed this how to pack 14 different outfits in a carry-on. Hope you guys learned some tips or got some outfit inspirations for your next trip. As always, $20 off and away suitcase. I'm Asia Dang, thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.